More than 20 buses alone. It was evident some aldermen are frustrated with the lack of communication from City Hall as migrants are being left in wards without any notice. Our political reporter Marianne Ahern is live at City Hall this afternoon with the very latest on the crisis. Marianne? Good afternoon to both of you. Yes, just left a news conference with Mayor Johnson. He describes the situation as chaotic, noting that perhaps as many as 22 buses might arrive today. That would be the most ever. Ten buses yesterday. Ninth Ward Alderman Anthony Beal, he is completely fed up with receiving no notice. More than 80 migrants were left in Beale's ward at the 9th Police District over the weekend. Beale is concerned that women and children are there, and the police district, district is also where sex offenders come in person to register. Today, at the city council meeting, Alderman Beale sent every new proposal from Mayor Johnson to the Rules Committee, forcing a delay. Hopefully, the message gets across that you have to communicate, number one, and let the people know what's going on in these wards and, and what's going on with the migrants. They're not communicating with the aldermen about what's happening with the migrants. It's absolutely fair to have better communications. Um, I think the only issue I took with uh, the ordinance was that it requires a sign-off by the alder. And so I think if you do that, you're limiting the opportunity for everyone to take on some of the sacrifice. And you're, you're at then, I believe at a harder situation where there's more of a bottleneck because there's not enough places. 14 buses today. Um, we're getting word that it could be as many as 22. You know, this is a growing crisis, not just for the city of Chicago, but for the, for the entire globe. The population shift that we are experiencing as a result of the failure of, 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 of federal uh, policies is now impacting the people of Chicago in a very dramatic way. There is also word today that some members of the city council, as well as the mayor, plan to visit the border themselves very soon. They want to see and talk to the people at the border. We don't have a timetable just yet on that, but the mayor confirms he will lead that delegation. One last bit of business here at City Hall. There was to be a vote on the sub-minimum wage. That is the wage for tipped workers. That has been postponed until Friday. But it has been quite a day here at City Hall. Reporting live, Marianne Ahern, NBC5 News. Okay, what a day. Marianne, thank you very much.